8 o'clock, the Joke yeah. Factory. Tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, Joke Factory. This is right across the street from the airport, and you really should call. Tickets are going very quickly. There's only a few left for tonight. The number, 328-6000. I just wanted to get that out there before we go back to Bob, because yeah. if you want to make the call right now, you probably should. Yeah. He's going to be performing. Of course, you've already been showing us and talking, of course, about your illustrious and long career, which is great to see that you're still performing to this day. Yeah. I, I love doing a personal appearance. You yeah. know, we're, we're right before Rodney passed away, Rodney mm -hmm. Dangerfield, he was, you know, I used to open for him all the time. He says, Nelson, whatever happened to you, man? How come you never made it big? How can you never be, you never became a big star? What happened to you? I said, Rodney, stand-up comedy is not a stepping stone for me. And he goes, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, that, was, that was important to you. You wanted oh, yeah. to stay fresh and always be able to, to, to work a, a crowd, work yes, a room. Yes, yeah. And I've gotten, as I've gotten older, I'm able to interact with the audience because, you know, it, it, I just feel connected to them. Yeah. No, so and you, I'll just start talking. <laughs> yeah, and your mentor, Red Skelton, you were yeah. just saying, he told you not to swear, and you yeah. maintain that. Have you been happy with that decision? Yes, I have, because it, it, it's, um, I'm able to perform for Grandma and the grandchildren and yeah. everybody else in between. And so everybody will so be able to laugh. So they can come on my show, you know? Do some more of your acts. Oh, I love yeah. your character. I see, oh, I see ooh, this hat here. I can't... Uh, oh, this is, this is uh, Will B. Stuckinson. <laughs> Will B. Stuckinson. Yeah, he's from the set. How y'all doing? <laughs> I'm a chicken farmer from Freeport, Louisiana. <laughs> I raise chickens. <laughs> they, you ever hear that question? What's come first, the chicken or the egg? Well, I gotta tell you, I ain't never seen no egg lay no chicken. <laughs> the chicken laid the egg. My boy, oh, my, my, my boy, my tooth came out. My boy think that the egg come first. I said, hey boy, why you think the egg come first? He said, well, daddy, for breakfast I have eggs, and for lunch I have chicken. Breakfast come before lunch, so the egg come before the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's really, That's I love that man. Yeah. It's like we're interviewing yeah. different people. Yeah, I love so, doing the characters. You, you, but do, do you, ever, you come up with so many? Do you ever get them confused? No, no. They were all separate in my head. <laughs> really? There's compartment. So I compartmentalize all these people. Yeah. I get Jiffy out here. Jiffy, come on out. Jiffy Jeff Jaworski, punch drunk fighter. Hey, how you doing, kids? Uh, I'm a professional fighter. I had six professional fights, of which I lost eleven. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I, oh, by the way, if you ever want to become a Adam, if you ever want to become a fighter, uh, you need alto training. Don't forget because alto, tr alto, tr alto training, a lot, a lot of training. <laughs> the letters got all jumbled in my head. Yeah. Anyway, you need a good nickname too. I'm Jiffy Jeff. Huh? <laughs> Somebody call me. Yeah, Jiffy oh my Jeff. Gosh. Who's calling me? That's that Jiffy Jeff. So good. Yeah. <laughs> that, do How many do you do with the act? Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, I just I just keep doing them. I, I I probably hit about 10, 15 characters throughout yeah. the whole show. Oh this is God. great. Yeah. I'm they, working on a new one. Yeah. See, in France, they don't they don't shower. Yeah. So I didn't shower for three months, and I learned how to speak French. We got 10 seconds. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. <laughs>